Okay guys, I've run into a little issue uh, recently with my DXXI. Uh, it's the, this roller wheel, but it's the switch under the roller wheel. Um, it, isn't, it clicks just fine, but it's not working. In fact, if I push on it real hard, then it starts to work. Um, so what I'm gonna, this video is gonna show you how to do is to replace the switch that's underneath this roller. Um, it looks like something like that little guy and uh, where I got this switch is from a uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it but it's a it's a company called uh, Palalu Polalu um, so these are the switches um, pretty cheap you actually get five in a bag so just uh, keep that in mind if you're uh, thinking of buying a couple of couple of switches, uh, you just need one bag, uh, it comes with five, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, when I'm in there, um, I've seen the new aluminum sw uh, roller switches, uh, so I think I'm going to try to uh, just replace that as well, as long as I'm in there, so let's get started. Turn it off. I always take the batteries out, just in case. And I've taken all the other screws out except for one, so let's go ahead and take that screw out. Okay, when you take it apart, you're going to want to be careful. There are a lot of cables in here. In fact, there's some cables that are um, connected to this back cover, so you're going to want to uh, take those out. Actually, uh, you may be actually be able to get into this uh, without taking any of the other plugs off for the back, and I'll show you how to do that. What we're after is uh, is this taking out this little board here, this little rectangular board. Uh, the roller switch lies under that, so if you can get away with not connecting all these other uh, connectors, um, I'd recommend just taking this out and disconnecting the uh, the one connector that it's on there. So let's go ahead and take. Let me zoom in here a second. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see that dual lighting, but uh, I'll go ahead and take this out quickly. And uh, it's a good idea to get your soldering iron uh, going right now because this does require soldering uh, to replace that switch, okay? Okay, got that free. We're just gonna lift up on this, uh, this white, uh, connector here okay and it is free so what you end up with is something that looks like this thing okay so it's got the uh, the roller wheel here presses on that switch when you push it. Interesting thing is, uh, if you look at it closely here, you'll notice that uh, it spins down here. It's totally loose up here. And that's what clicks, the, the, the actually clicking uh, switches up here. So it's no wonder why people, when they push on these things in the middle or in the bottom, they break this tab off. And that's uh, one of the reasons why I'm switching to the aluminum one is, uh, you know, so I can essentially push on the whole thing and it, without fear of breaking this little peg down here. So uh, go ahead and lift this up and out. Comes right out pretty easily. And our goal here is to desolder this switch right here. 
and uh, just solder in the new one. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that. Bear with me here as I uh, get my iron clean. Okay, and it's uh, it's a good idea to have a pair of pliers handy too, because uh, you're going to want to somehow grab this uh, as you as you desolder it. You're going to want to grab something to pull it away. So um, I am going to go ahead and clip the board here. I don't know if you can really see that, but uh, there you go. Well, okay, so all we're going to do is just desolder these points of contact until the thing comes loose. Not uh, okay, so you just keep uh, keep hitting the pin, push it out a little bit. Eventually, it's going to come out. And there it is. Okay, came right out. Okay, grab the new one. Get it uh, situated here. <coughs> Make sure the holes line up. And it's not going to be able to push you because you still have that extra solder there. So what you're going to want to do is kind of heat up the solder and push it in at the same time. Okay. And you're going to be able to feel it eventually drop into place here. Okay, I think that uh, looks pretty decent. And uh, you know, just watch your fingers. Um, kind of touch up a little bit here and there as you're as you're going. Make sure it's seated pretty nice. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add more solder to it, uh, just so I know that that uh, that solder joint is a good one. Okay, I don't uh, I don't want to trust the old solder that they had on there. Just my uh, personal preference. Okay, get out my solder. Okay, as you can see, if I can zoom in here, we've got a couple of good blobs there of solder, and uh, your switch is going to look just like that. Okay, now I'm just uh, I'm putting the new uh, roller switch in. Uh, this is totally up to you. It's optional. You can do this if you. Uh, if you feel like it or not. I got this, uh, the roller switch is from uh, East RC. Uh, I think it was you know, 15 bucks or whatever, but uh, uh, as long as I'm in here, might as well do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you slide this in. Um, you know, it slides essentially the same way that the, uh, the old one came, came out. So um, slide it down in here, kind of work it until you, uh, it's got a hex shape on the end of it. So you're gonna have to spin it a little bit. Get it in there. It's tricky here, guys.
Hmm. Yeah, a little trickier than I thought it would be here, but just bear with me. Can't get that in there. Okay guys, it's in there. It was pretty tough to get the uh, this peg down here in there, but just uh, just um, you know work it nice and slow and uh, don't force it because uh, again these parts are pretty delicate and uh, you know you'll know when it goes in there because uh, you know it looks essentially just like that. So uh, it spins, it pushes down, it clicks good. Let's go ahead and uh, install it and see if it worked. Okay, get it orient oriented uh, correctly here. In theory, it should just drop down in there, which it does. That's good. Okay. I think the trickiest part is to get this uh, clip back in there, so uh, hopefully this uh, video is not dragging on, but. Uh, I think you guys get the basic idea of how to do this. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tap this in just a little bit. Okay. Reinstall the screws. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is um, when you're putting this little uh, board back in, let me zoom in here, show you what I'm talking about here. Um, if you put this back in and uh, you got to make sure that it sits right now um, one side isn't you know sitting higher than the other you probably can't tell from the video but if I look at this right now and I push it down this board is a whole lot close this side of the board is a whole lot closer to the uh, the housing than this side so that means um, that my roller wheel is not uh, centered properly and that could um, you know, the, the, the roller wheel could make connect, uh, contact with the housing and, and it won't uh, be able to roll and it won't be able to click. So, um, you know, just be cautious of that when you're pushing the board back down. Um, in this case, I need to go back, pull this board up, and uh, maybe uh, recenter this uh, or maybe pull it out just a tiny bit. Okay. A little bit at a time, okay. And then uh, set it back down. Just uh, keep doing this procedure until it sets uh, sits flush. Okay. Okay. I think I still need a little bit more here. This is where you really want to take your time and get it lined up perfectly, because uh, you know having it together and then. Uh, Having it not work properly is uh, pretty frustrating. You got to go back in and uh, get it to uh, to work. So I think let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, flip this over carefully just to make sure that. Uh, and it's well. Let me put a couple of screws in there first. And it may not sit, uh, you know, flush how you think. But the important thing is, um, is to make sure that wheel is not scraping or contacting uh, any of the housing. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just give it a try here. Okay. Okay, it spins, it clicks. Okay, so I know that it is uh, clear. Okay. If you didn't put it right and uh, you turn this over and you try to spin the wheel and it's pretty hard to spin or it won't click, that means you've uh, you've got to go in and realign this uh, top to bottom. Okay. Okay. You know, and I did notice it's uh, touching a little bit at the top, so 
sorry, just bear with me. I'm going to go back in and uh, realign it. I'm pretty picky with this kind of stuff, so just uh, just bear with me. I think it's a good thing to be this picky. Um, that way your stuff equipment works right. Okay, so I'm going to push it in just a little bit. There it goes. Okay, put the board back in. And I did notice that uh, just because of the way the housing is, um, you know, I, I misspoke. I, I don't think it's ever going to be exactly, you know, the same distance, uh, this gap versus this gap. Um, but the important thing is uh, to get the roller uh, free and clear of the housing so it, uh, so it operates correctly and smoothly. Okay. Okay, so I've got the... Uh, screws in there. I'm just going to give it one more spin. Be very careful with this stuff. I, I know I shouldn't be moving this around like this, but uh, you know. Okay, that looks good. It clicks, it rolls, it's uh, free of the housing, and everything looks good. So I'm going to carefully put this cover back on. Okay. Uh, what I usually recommend doing is putting just two screws back in, uh, the middle screws here. Um, that way, if you do have to go back in, you're not uh, having to take all six screws out because some of these screws are a little uh, tedious to get out. Okay. Got two screws in. Let's, of course, put the batteries back in. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and give it a try. If everything went well, then it uh, should work. And if we click on it, it should uh, take you to the menu screen. So it works. Looks like it works pretty good. You can roll it around, go through your uh, settings here, click on it. Okay, looks like it's uh, testing out just fine and uh, Feels really nice too. I like the I like the look of that uh, that uh, that wheel there. Um, so if uh, if you got any questions, uh, I'll post the information for the switch and the wheel in the uh, the details section of the uh, video. But uh, if you have any questions, post them and uh, take care.